Hey, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. The key element, everything is thought. Thought is the key element of it all. All right? That's the element. Thought is an element that belongs to us. When you allow your mind to be taken over by spirit and soul, you are allowing your thought process to become much higher. All right? Thinking as your spirit and soul thinks is the key. Your spirit and your soul is constantly urging build, 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 build. And a lot of us think, you know, okay, I gotta build in the spirit. I gotta go in meditation deeper. You know, I gotta, I gotta do this deeper. I gotta do that deeper. No, 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 no. Your spirit and soul is telling you to build. Your spirit and soul. Your spirit is the angelic force within you, and the soul is the demonic force within you. All right? Angels and demons. <laughs> you know, understand that. Your spirit and soul are extremely powerful, multi dimensional organisms that are within this carbon body. So when you feel the urge to build, you must understand, understand, overstand that your spirit and your soul is telling you in order for you to get your powers, you got to build. And this building is not going into meditation and said, I'm going to build up in spirit. No, building is pulling out that tape measure and that hammer and that saw and that drill and those screws and getting you some wood or some brick. <laughs> some dirt I'm telling you to build because when you link into nature and begin building you're on a much higher dimensional level understand that you're on a much higher dimensional level therefore your thoughts will be the thoughts of cosmic and universal because the cosmos and the universe are always building, creating new energies, new dimensions, new powers, <laughs> new paradigms, new realms. And they are all multidimensional shapes, believe me. <laughs> They're extremely powerful and high multidimensional shapes. Understand that your spirit and your soul are multidimensional organisms that are within you. You must allow your spirit and your soul to take over your mind and body in order for you to link into all supreming power. We're talking about supremacy of the indigenous peoples of this world. Therefore, once you do this, you will begin taking your place on the planet as the original people. But first, you must build. And like we said, we're not talking about, no, uh, I'm going to sit in meditation and, you know, or I'm going to dance. And, uh, okay, yeah, that's all good and well. We did the dancing and all that stuff after we got through building. What it is documented when these beings came to our land, our planet. There were hundreds of thousands of multi-dimensional structures all over the land. And when you got to remember when they say land, land in Masonic term in this low level third, uh, 33 degree Masonic term means planet. So uh, across the entire planet were powerful structures. And they say, we know this is what gives them power so they put it in the book called the bible said we destroyed their towers and we changed their language and scattered them across the land all right now we got to rebuild our towers so that we can all become one again 
and the power that we would depend on would be the power of multidimensional structures from natural elements, natural resources. Your thought is an element. Let's pass that on to you. Hope you take that to heart. And as usual, all power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever. That's power to you all. <laughs>